Hey guys, my name is Anitra Ellis and I am a family nurse practitioner and nurse educator here in Southern West Virginia. I am sitting here outside of Coalfield Health Center um, and today I'm going to get my COVID-19 vaccination. Um, I have decided to do like a video uh, documentation of the vaccination just so people can see my experience. Um, I'm feeling great right now, uh, no issues at all. Uh, most people probably do not know, but I did actually have COVID-19 back in November, um, and this is safe for me to get, so I'm going to do it. Um, I choose to get the vaccination because I believe that this is an answer prayer, uh, that this is the start um, of the beginning of the end of this horrible virus that has taken so much from all of us. So I will check back in with you guys here in a few hours and actually let you watch my injection. And then I will check in periodically over the next few days just to let you know how I'm feeling and, and let you know if I'm experiencing anything. All right, so I'm getting ready to get my vaccination here in my left arm. I don't expect to have any immediate side effects or adverse reactions. Uh, typically do well with vaccinations, so here we go. Still don't like needles though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. You need this side like picture or just video? Just video, okay. yep. Almost didn't feel that. Good. That's what your dad said, and you know he's afraid he can't. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Hey, guys. Just checking in. I am 24 hours post-vaccination because I did receive my vaccination yesterday at 830 in the morning. Overall, the process took maybe uh, 20 to 25 minutes, and that's with the wait time to make sure I didn't have a reaction afterwards. Um, yesterday, I went about my day normally, continued to work, see patients, and around 9 o'clock last night, I did log into the VSAFE app, uh, which is what the CDC is using um, for patients to report any side effects uh, from the vaccination, so it's very important to follow up on there. So I did report that I am having some tenderness and pain at the injection site, but otherwise, I have nothing else to report. Uh, at my work site, which is where I see, received the immunization. I had plenty of information and time to ask questions before I received the vaccination. As I said, I didn't expect to have any reactions to it as far as um, across my body, fevers, chills, anything like that, and I haven't. So I'm just going to continue to monitor, go about my day working today, continue to wear my mask and social distancing, and then I will just check back in. Um, probably nine o'clock tonight on the vsafe app just to see if i have anything different to report um, otherwise i'll just start planning for my second shot which will be uh, 28 days after my first one so so far so good uh, very mild pain in the arm definitely something that um, i can handle um, has not changed my life or uh, changed my routine any at all so doing good so far and i'll update you guys again here in a couple days Hey guys, it is three days post-vaccination. Um, I did receive the vaccination Monday morning at 8.30. Um, at this time, I have zero symptoms to report. Um, as previously mentioned, I did have a sore arm, but that is completely resolved at this time. Um, for me, myself, I did not experience any fever, any headaches, any chills, or anything like that. So I've had a great experience so far uh, with the vaccination. So uh, what this means for me at this point is I'm going to continue to log every day on the VSAFE app my symptoms, um, if anything would come up, or just to tell them that I'm feeling good, I'm having no problems, and, you know, I'm, I'm resuming my life as normal and, you know, working and doing everything that I normally would do. Um, I would suggest that anyone who has any questions about the vaccine, whether you should get it or not, please talk to your primary care provider. Um, do your own research. The CDC has a lot of good information about um, who should take the vaccine and who should not. So just make sure uh, when you do your research that, research that you have legitimate sources. 
Um, I plan on getting the second dose of the Moderna uh, vaccination here. And, uh, well, it'll be 25 days now, not 28 since I had it uh, three days ago. Um, one community I wanted to speak to directly uh, right now is the African-American community. Um, I've seen some hesitation about taking the vaccine because of the Tuskegee experiment. And I want to say that 100% that should not have happened. Um, but there are, are laws and things in place now to protect minorities, to protect special populations. So um, I don't fear um, taking the vaccination because of anything like that happening again. Also, uh, my pregnant and breastfeeding women and uh, friends, I just wanted to say that, you know, a lot of research has not been done this population yet. So you should definitely talk to your primary care provider, your OBGYN, and just discuss, you know, the risk and benefits and uh, make a decision based on that, whether you should take the vaccine or not. Um, I, I appreciate you guys watching and listening to this. I'm so excited for the vaccination because, you know, I'm, I'm ready to get back to meeting with my family again in larger groups. And I'm ready to, to coach sports and to be involved in sports and just to get back some type of normalcy in our life. So uh, again, the safe app on um, the CDC or just the CDC's website period if you have any questions. Also, talk to your primary care provider and talk to your friends in he healthcare who have received the vaccination. And um, thank you guys for listening. Hope you have a great rest of your day.